Hey guys, the time has come. Summer is pretty much over. I highly doubt we're going to see temperatures over 20 degrees anymore this year. So it is time to put away my summer clothes and bring out my autumn clothing. I'm really excited. Autumn fashion is probably my favorite out of all the clothing I have. I just love the warm autumn colors and being able to layer. I have asked Robert to actually bring up my storage thing of autumn clothing because it is heavy. All my winter stuff is in there as well. It's just very heavy. As always, when I do these videos, we're gonna go through my wardrobe first, take out all of the summer clothes, see if there's anything that I haven't worn, anything that I'm ready to get rid of. Although this year I'm gonna take the whole things I haven't worn um, with a grain of salt because we were still in lockdown for the majority of summer and I haven't been able to travel. And we've had a very cold summer this year, so there's a lot in there that I haven't been able to wear, but I'm still gonna go through see if there's anything that I would still like to wear next year. But before we jump into that, I am really excited to announce that for the upcoming year, I am officially an ambassador for Ana Luisa, the jewelry brand. I'm sure you've heard me talk about them lots of times before. I've been working with them for years, but I am now officially an ambassador. <laughs> and I'm really excited to be working with them for the upcoming year. I absolutely adore Ana Luisa jewelry. They make beautiful, dainty, minimal jewelry pieces that are completely my style. I love wearing their pieces. It's pretty much the only jewelry I wear. And what's even better is that they are a sustainable brand. They use recycled materials. They are carbon neutral and they are transparent about their entire production process. Their pieces are gorgeous and great quality and they start at only $39. So they are affordable as well. I recently got these three new beautiful pieces from them. I have been wearing these necklaces loads since they go with pretty much everything in my wardrobe. I love how versatile these are. I mean, these work for pretty much any occasion. And this ring, I just love how it's kind of a subtle nod to historical styles, but much more minimal and simple and modern. Absolutely adore that. Anna Luisa make their jewelry in small batches and they update their collection very regularly. So definitely be sure to check out their website, see if there's anything there that you like. And if that is the case, I have a nice discount for you. You can use code loopsy 10 to get 10% off of anything on their website. So definitely be sure to check that out. Highly recommend. Once again, I'm super happy to be working with them for the upcoming year. And I want to give a big thank you to Anna Luisa for sponsoring this video and now let's head over to my wardrobe and pull out all the summer stuff. Alright, I have pulled out everything that I'm definitely not going to be able to wear anymore. Things such as tank tops, crop tops, um, linen pants, things that I just feel are very summery and I will no longer want to wear during autumn and winter. Let's hope next year, first of all, I finally get to go on holiday again. And second of all, we get a little bit of a warmer summer because this year was very, very bad. I read somewhere that the average temperature was 17 degrees this summer. 
Anyways, there is also a bunch of stuff that I have taken out that is not going back and that is in fact going into the donation bin or I'm gonna try and maybe sell. So let's go over that because I always think that's really interesting to see what people are getting rid of and why. So first of all, something I'm a little bit sad to admit, these trousers. I made these a while back. These were my first trousers that I ever made. I like them in theory. I hate this material. I remember when I bought it, I was disappointed by the color because it was supposed to be like a khaki brownish greenish tone. Came out completely cool gray. And also the pants turned out a little short and I think when I washed them, they shrunk even more. Now they're even shorter on me. So they just don't look that great. And the material, not only is the color bad, but it feels kind of weird. It's not very comfortable to wear and it wrinkles like crazy. And I am not excited enough about these pants to be willing to go through the trouble of ironing them every time I want to wear them. So I'm afraid I'm just gonna say goodbye to these. And I have to be ruthless with the stuff I make as well, because I make so much now that it just doesn't fit in my closet anymore and I don't really have space anywhere else to save these things. Same thing goes for this top. I made this, I altered this from a jumpsuit. This used to be a jumpsuit. I made it into a top in the hopes that I would maybe wear it. Haven't worn it, not once. And this just apparently wasn't enough to make me actually want to wear the item. So I'm gonna get rid of that as well. This skirt was a hand-me-down, loved it in theory. Don't really love it in practice. Um, it doesn't, it's not very flattering on me. I don't like these kind of a-line skirts that are kind of straight, a little bit flared. I always feel like they make me look very prim and proper. I just don't really like that look on myself. So yeah, you were probably expecting it. This skirt from my recent wearing only clothes I never wear video is gonna have to go. I don't like it. Doesn't look good on me. It's just, nope. Then I found a couple of things which I I think I remember taking out of my closet last time, but I found them kind of shoved on the bottom towards the back of the closet. So I think I might have kept them there to donate at some point, but this pink top that is too large on me and I don't really like. This dress, which I used to love, but now feel is too revealing um, with both the open neck and the length. This dress, again, used to love it, no longer my style. Don't see myself wearing this anymore. It's the one with the cutout in the front. The cherry dress is still here. <laughs> Has there ever been a wardrobe declutter of mine where I haven't pulled out the cherry dress? I just need to pick a moment, put this on sale on Instagram and get rid of it. This thing also from my clothing I never wear video decided I just don't like it enough. There are other clothing items that have the same function and the same use that I like more than this one. So I'm gonna get rid of that. This is a top I'm very sad about. I shouldn't have bought this or well, <laughs> I bought it because I really, really wanted it. I love this. I love the color. I love the cut. It has this like bow in the front and I can always use more white blouses, right? I mean, it's such a staple item in my wardrobe. But when I got this um, and I put it on, I knew straight away it was too small, but I didn't want to admit it. I thought I could make it work. I absolutely cannot make it work. And then another item from my clothing I never wear video is this one. I just don't like this blouse anymore. So it has to go. That is everything. That is everything that came out. I freed up a bunch of hangers. Plenty, plenty, plenty. <laughs> Apparently I never even unpacked all of my designated holiday clothing. <laughs> okay, that's gonna go straight back in when I'm done. But I'm already seeing some of my favorites. Look at this dress. It's definitely way too warm for this one now, but I will hopefully be able to wear that soon. And I'm really, really excited. Oh, I can't wait. I would like to give everything a quick steam before I put it back in my wardrobe. I think that would be a good habit to get into. I can get a little bit lazy with caring for my clothes, but I think this is something I need to do. My Queen's Gambit pinafore. Really, really excited to wear that one again. Fun white mock neck sweater that I also wear loads. I'm not entirely sure how far to go with this. Like, I don't think I need stuff like this just yet. That's more like 
wintry, my little capelets. That could definitely come in handy. Oh, this is so cute. Look at those buttons. Oh, I love this. I made this um, and it had to go into storage very quickly after, so I haven't really worn this yet and I'm really excited to do so now. I think this is going to be perfect for the upcoming weeks. Beautiful blazer, perfect pattern for autumn. Ooh! <laughs> I told you I love these clothes. This blazer dress, one of my most worn items. Cannot wait to wear that again. I think I could wear this now. I mean, 20 degrees is fine for a dress like that. Oh, and this one. I should do a photo shoot with this one outside. I don't think I've done that yet. Oh, another capelet. Really excited to wear this. I hope I will be able to use this a little bit more now that we have a car and I don't have to go everywhere by bike anymore. And I also think I'm gonna pull out some of my lighter sweaters. So not, not these just yet, the very thick and chunky ones. I think I can hold those a little bit longer, but this one I should be able to wear probably within a couple weeks. Yeah, I think same with this one. This one's pretty thin, nice and light sweater dress. These are gonna have to wait a little bit longer. Oh yes, faux leather trousers, perfect for autumn. All of that's gonna go back. I'm not ready to wear that yet. Okay, so here's the pile of holiday clothes. That's gonna go back in. Alrighty. I'm just gonna go over all of the summer clothes that I want to put away, check if anything needs to be washed before I do put it away. There are a couple of things in the laundry still that I'm also gonna put away, so I'll just have to work through my laundry basket before I can really put this away. But what I can do is go ahead and steam all of those autumn items that are gonna go in and put them in my wardrobe. I'm really, really excited to do that. I think it's gonna be nice and empty for a while. No, not that this is an empty wardrobe. By no means this is an empty wardrobe, but it is a lot emptier than it was before I started this process. Let's do this. very glad that this is done now. It needed to happen and I'm just really excited to wear all of those clothes again. There's so much blood in my wardrobe now. I love it. And actually as I was doing this I came up with a couple ideas of things that I would like to sew this autumn. I think that is it for this video guys. Don't forget to check out Anna Luisa in the description box below and use code loopsy10 to get 10% off of their website. If you enjoyed this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for lots more fashion, beauty, lifestyle and sewing content. There is another video here that I think you might also enjoy. You can go watch next. Thank you so much for watching guys and I will see you very soon in my next video. Bye!